The first day of school means a fresh start for students here at Westminster High School and all over Carroll County. It's also a fresh start for the district with a new superintendent who's making history. A new school year is the start of a new journey for students and for some that comes with the first day jitters. How are you feeling on this first day of school? Nervous. It's also the start of a new journey for Cynthia McCabe who's making history as the first woman to lead Carroll County Schools as superintendent. I'm excited and, and honored and I'm just ready to get to work. And McCabe says there is plenty of work to do this year, especially because the pandemic caused so many changes for students and school staff. It brought uh, some learning loss for our students and some burnout to our teachers. That's my biggest goal this year is to be able to look at student achievement see where our students are and be able to get them where they need to be. When it comes to the teacher and bus driver shortages, McCabe says Carroll County is looking pretty good so far. All of our buses have been running uh, as planned and um, as of Friday um, we had about eight teaching positions that um, are being filled right now with permanent substitutes, but we are in much better shape than, than some of the districts around us. With staffing in better shape, McCabe hopes to make this year a success for students. She hopes parents help make that happen too. Parents, we need your help, so anything you can do to um, help your children at home um, is wonderful. Students here in Carroll County are not the only ones heading back to school today. It's also the first day of school for students in Harford County. Reporting from Westminster High School, I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL TV 11 News. Thank you, Brianna, and WBAL TV 11 is your back to school source. Our back to school guide has the key dates, shopping lists and vaccine information, everything you need to start school off right. It's all in the WBAL TV app.